every WeWeb project has the same basic UI elements in the ad menu. However, they can have different assets. So here, for example, we are using the online course template and we see that in this project, we have a lot of different assets. We have a navigation bar, footer, logo, lessons, cards. So we have this project with assets and these are the library assets related to this project. So here in libraries, we see the components of this project, uh, templates, there are no section or element templates. We have CSS classes and also topographies, colors and spacings related to this project library. However, in this project that is uh, that was created from scratch, so a blank project, there are no project assets, but they are starter kit assets, a navigation menu, card, form inputs and lots more. If we go to the project library, we see that it's empty. No components, no templates, no classes, no topographies, colors, or spacings. But if we go to external libraries here, we see that the starter kit is available. If we wanted to in our uh, online course template, we could also add the starter kit. So here in the external libraries, we could add it here or go to the marketplace and add it here. Now, once we added this starter kit library to this project, back in the add menu, we would have uh, the project assets and the starter kit assets. Back in our blank project, so we don't have anything in our library yet, but we have this uh, little section that we created so we can save it here as a template. So let's call it, let's create it and call it section with image or hero section. And let's create this. Now we create a template. If we go back to the add menu in our assets, if we go back up, we see that now in this project, we also have a hero section template. This means that we can drag and drop this on our page and use it elsewhere. So we could create a new page go to our add menu and drop the template. So we don't have to rebuild it a second time. 